Welcome to the video lecture on driven and damped harmonic motion. This will be a short lecture just to review some concepts as we before we move into fluids. In damped harmonic motion, energy is dissipated or removed from a system. In this case, friction or air resistance or some other non-conservative force removes the energy and therefore the amplitude decreases over time. A common example would be a shock absorber in your car. This removes the amount that your car bounces up and down after it goes over a bump. Energy is lost to friction. Another example would be a pendulum. Eventually a pendulum stops swinging back and forth due to air resistance, which is also known as a drag force. This slowly removes energy over time. First, on this graph here, in the red, we have undamped harmonic motion. Notice the, the amplitude remains the same after each oscillation back and forth. Next, we have underdamped or just damped harmonic motion. In this case, energy is removed from the system over time. This would be the green and the yellow lines. Notice how they still continue to oscillate, but the amplitude is getting less and less or decreasing over time. If something is critically damped, that means the oscillation does not fully occur. And rather, it will go to its maximum position and then just slowly return to the equilibrium point. If something is overdamped, however, it may not even return back to the equilibrium position and just may go on, become offset to a new position. Driven harmonic motion occurs when energy is added to a system. The amplitude of oscillation is increased when the driving force or the pushing force matches the natural frequency of oscillation. Think of somebody on a swing. As you push them, their amplitude or how far they go back and forth increases. But you need to push them at the right frequency. This frequency is called the natural frequency. So the frequency that you apply the driving force needs to match the natural frequency. And when this happens, resonance will occur, which leads to a building of amplitude of the oscillation. Tonight, I'd like you to take what we've done in the lecture and use the internet or your textbook or any other resource that you have and answer one of the following questions. Each answer should be a couple of sentences, maybe a short paragraph. First, uh, we'll choose one of the following th uh, three. Describe what a tune mass damper is, how it works, and where they're used. Second one would be, why did the Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapse? Please explain the forces behind this. And third, explain the physics of why the Bay of Fundy in Canada has such large tides. Thank you very much. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow in class.